Ever find yourself in a relationship with a woman who is neither single nor married? Yes, she might be separated from her husband but not fully divorced. And for you, it's always a roller coaster of emotions because sometimes she ghosts you and other times she comes running back into your arms. And you feel all of these things because you're into her. My brother, you see, eh? <laughs> this kind of situation most times doesn't end well. You know they always end well. Let's look at some of the very good reasons why you should stay away from situations like that, from relationships like that, especially as a young man who has never been married before. It's not like it's bad to date or even marry a woman who has been married before. It can be bad and risky for you when the situation is not completely clear. The thing is, sometimes some of these women actually are not being so truthful about the entire situation. It just be like two fights in case now. You know, if for example, I fight with somebody, you can't ask me to see what thing happen. You know, if I they explain give you i will tell you in such a way that say you go sympathize with me and you know want to feel my pain and support me because that is what i want you're not at the other end of the situation you don't know what they happen for the other end you're just hearing like a one-sided story so we are not going to only be looking at the reasons why you should stay away from relationships like this also we'll look at some of the ways through which you can avoid relationships like this because for some people it can be difficult. Most times it might just be that she's the one that has warmed up to you, she's your colleague at work or your business partner and she begins to complain about her relationship, this, this, that, 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 that. And before you know, when I don't join body, before you know, activities don't they go on. So, so for some people, it's difficult for them to be able to pull away from situations like this or to entirely be able to remove themselves. And that is the essence of this video. Recently, I stumbled on a story online about a young man who was dating this woman who was neither married nor divorced. Exactly the case I'm explaining here. Although she was in the process of getting a divorce, her ex-husband is the guy they Chris. okay? He wouldn't sign the papers. A whole lot of drama was just in the mix. And then this young man, let's call him Mr. K. Mr. K was so into this woman and to him he's like, what? There's nothing there. I love her and I'm going to date her. Nobody's going to tell me what to do, right? So, you know, they were just doing their thing and kicking it. And then one day, they were back from a date night. Obviously, he dropped her off at home and then he walked her into the house. As soon as they got into the house, boom, the ex was there sitting in one corner with a gun in his hand. Long story very short an argument ensured of course and mr k was killed this is what some people will call a fool's death like there is no need for somebody to die in a situation like that because it is completely avoidable so this right here in this story is one of the reasons why as a young man you should completely avoid women who are still entangled with their ex and carry a lot of baggage you don't need to put yourself in a situation like that if you have to then let her completely separate divorce or whatever from her ex let the coast be clear then you can come in that leads me to the second reason why you shouldn't be in a relationship like that emotional turmoil like it's always a roller coaster of emotion for you because like I said before, now two fighting matter. And as long as this woman, some of them are not being completely honest with you, you're going to be feeling these emotions. She comes to you and she's like, oh, he's so narcissistic. Oh, he beat me up. And you're just boiling. You go just a vex because why? You know, you like this woman and somebody, they treat her the way where you know go treat her. So you see, you're just like inciting yourself unnecessarily because the truth is, I will say it again for the sake of emphasis, you know, no finish. You know completely no waiting happen for that place do you understand so to avoid the whole emotional thing some people cannot really handle their emotion well so to avoid it in the first place don't be in the drama number three reason is to avoid legal issues some people can go to the extent of seeing you because i mean the woman is still in the mix why are you entangling with her and all of that maybe like we for nigeria because some of these things can fly it gets some places where you can find yourself and before long, or more brother don't be inside prison. <laughs> Number four, lack of stability and commitment. Now, you can't truly say that this woman is committed to you because it's not possible to be committed to two people. This is like being caught in between two people, the intending husband-to-be or the ex that is on his way out. How can somebody even commit in a situation like that? When people come out from breakups, most times they want to like cool off, clear their heads, 
before they can go into another relationship. So it's even wrong on all levels for someone to still be in a relationship that is obviously messy and then trying to enter another relationship. Now, you don't even know the person's intention. I mean, the person just they use you, they, you know, they feel all right for the time being. And in that case, you can't even truly ask for commitment. I'm always weary of situations like that. This is no judgment. People react or handle pain in different ways. But I think it's always advisable that when you leave a particular relationship, you give yourself some time, some grace to just, you know, feel yourself again. Just be on your own again before you can now have like a very clear head to go in to another relationship okay there is no need for rush and lastly number five the reason why you should stay away from relationships like that is that it can ruin your reputation maybe in a small area a small area where you say but you don't know see this woman her husband with this you know can they come from side 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 and people know the guy for area people know the woman for area you know a young guy you don't go the put yourself for that kind of situation later later when it doesn't work out and you're looking for another fresh young girl to marry most times people would be looking at you as if this one with the sleepy people wife you know that kind of thing it depends on the environment it depends on the society but i'm telling you based on my own little experience if it's a small community where most times people know each other you get some area where you go to stay people know you they know your husband they know your children <laughs> So the day where you do one or two, they still know that one. So if they feel they call you name where you don't know for back, and then if they feel yourself, they walk out for street, but they don't give you name where you don't give yourself. If you know what I mean. So let's quickly look at how you can avoid relationships like this. Number one is to ask her about her relationship status. Like I said, most times this kind of relationship, eh, you know, they just be saying that you don't go to them. You just know, say one thing, one thing. She don't warm up to you, and before you know, when I don't they knock on a regular. And you don't feel talk saying that you toast them or maybe you toast them. You just know say things just happen. Notwithstanding, ask her about her relationship status. Even if she tell you say her ex na crackhead na this one na that one, of course, what do you expect? She go tell you say she be a bad person. If she tells you she's a bad person, would you go close to her? Like I said, she would always tell you things that would make you want to come close to her and even sympathize with her and be more in love with her. Ask her if she's fully divorced. And you know, in doing that, let her know that you don't want to be entangled in any kind of mess. I understand that sometimes when you meet women like this, it's always difficult to pull away from them. Most times, women like that are more experienced. They just know how to hold you down. Because of course, she has experience. Maybe she has been married for 10 years or even 15 years. What do you expect you can never compare her with a woman who has never been married before she knows how to handle a man she knows how to treat you right and because of that sometimes you fail to ask the necessary questions number two observe availability is she always available when you want to hang out with her or she would have to sneak out to see you at all times like when you want to truly see her she's not always available if she's like that if she's dodgy or doesn't want to be seen with you by other people by family and friends then something is there and lastly i would say trust your instincts listen to your inner man what is your spirit telling you what is your mind telling you so once you're overshadowed by whatever it is that is going on there emotions is already involved you tend to numb this thing or numb whatever it is that your mind your heart is telling you when something is off most times your mind will tell you you feel it so if you're willing to listen to your inner man ask the appropriate question and you're patient enough to wait for her to you know clear whatever situation she has at hand then at the end of the day it's going to be a rewarding relationship i mean the fact that you're able to wait because patience is a virtue that not everyone has some of us women actually just want to eat our cake and still have it which is not always possible in life so a woman who is like neither here nor there is like trying to eat her cake and still have it. She is married, not fully divorced, still having one or two things to do with the ex, even though he's an ex. And then trying to come into your life and still be with you, eating here and eating there. You know, the two, they work. We women sometimes come with a lot of drama. But my brother, sometimes you have to choose a lesser drama. <laughs> my name is Wendy Zill. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, I believe you like this one on the screen where I talked about the importance of sex in a marriage relationship and why she might not always be there or always be available to give you good sex in a marriage relationship. I'll see you there.